Logan's Alley is brought to you by Bushnell's Pro X2, the world's ultimate golf laser rangefinder for the avid golfer. Recently I played in a charity golf tournament for a very important cause, suicide prevention. It was up at the Summit Golf Club in North Toronto and it was hosted by the director of golf there and past PJ Tour winner Ian Leggett and his good friend the musician Jeremy Tagger. The tournament, which is called Stomp the Stigma, was started a few years back when a member at Summit, Bob Travis, lost his son to suicide at 24 years of age. It was an emotional day, but it was also a fun day because how can playing golf at one of Canada's best golf courses on a beautiful day not be enjoyable? And at the end of the evening, tournament organizers announced that those assembled had helped raise more than $200,000 for a variety of mental health initiatives. As I was driving home that night, I was thinking to myself, there probably isn't a better vehicle than golf for raising money for charity. All around the world, every day, there are charity tournaments taking place, whether it's for a youth hockey team or soccer team, or for mental health research or cancer research or any other very worthy causes. According to a recent facilities report put out by Golf Canada and the PGA of Canada, in Canada there are an average of 37,000 charity tournaments every single year, raising in excess of $500 million annually. At the professional level, the PGA Tour has raised more than a billion dollars for charity in its existence. And here in Canada, the CP Women's Open, which this year was played in Ottawa, it raises a million dollars for local heart charities every single year. Think about those astonishing numbers, especially the next time someone comes along and tries to cast a shadow on the game of golf, claiming it's a haven for elitists or that it's dangerous to the environment for pesticide use or something like that. There is no other sport in the world that gives back like golf does.